Mr. Ross here from the Ultimate Linux Newbie Guide here today with a very short video on how to use a tool called MK Chromecast. It's an open source tool which actually works on Mac OS as well as Linux. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use it on your Ubuntu Linux box. So head over to our website linuxnewbieguide.org and the article for how to install this and also to use it is over there. But uh, just quickly, the website for the tool, MK Chromecast, is mkchromecast.com, as you can see here. And um, there's also a GitHub um, website you can download the software from, from there as well, the source code and so forth. All right, so um, now that you have an idea of the code, the, I, the software that you're going to be using is uh, also a two-part. You'll be using a piece of software called Pavu Control, which is this uh, tool on the left hand side and that just allows you to select an audio source so that's Pulse Audio's volume control software if you don't have it already installed you can install it through apt and I should say that MK Chromecast if you're using the latest version of Ubuntu currently that's version 17.04 if you are using that then good luck um, you're in luck because uh, you actually can get the latest version of MK Chromecast at the time of making this video so let's minimize that. Um, here we go. This is Rhythmbox. Um, you can see I've opened it up already and I have um, a, a song to play there. I've also got the Pavu control uh, application. This is it here. Uh, I'll just close that down for a moment just to show you um, what, it, what it looks like. So um, you can launch it obviously from the um, command line, but um, I'll just do all of this first of all via the GUI just to show you there. So at the moment you can see the output is simple. It's um, analog output and that's basically the only option you have on your output. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've already installed the MK Chromecast tool and you can see right up here in the system tray that the, um, the tool is uh, already running. Um, and you can just run that normally from your, your uh, launcher, by the way. So if we go over here, MK Chromecast, and then just run it from there. Nice and simple. Now, I found that the GUI tool um, itself is a little bit more buggy than running it from the command line. So if you do have issues, just try and run it from the command line. Um, seems to be a lot less buggy. But let's just tr give it a try here. Um, so if you haven't if it hasn't found your chromecast already usually takes up to a minute for it to find your chromecast device just be aware of that but if it hasn't then you can click on search for google cast devices up there in the corner mine's has been found al's chromecast is the name um so you note there the icon changes to a little um arrow on the chromecast uh, symbol that means that it's ready to play to the device. You gotta do one other thing after that. You gotta make sure that the output is using the um, MK Chromecast device, okay? Once, it's, once you've done that, you'll see your Chromecast um, on your TV is saying MK Chromecast version 0 0.37. So with any luck now, when I play my video or music, in this case, um, you can see that the launcher has said it's starting off. And there you go, it's coming out of the TV. So that was fairly straightforward. The same applies for videos as well. And that's how to use it. You can also use it from the command line. Anything like that. Okay, so that's MK Chromecast. For the full details, check us out on the website www.linuxnewbieguide.org. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video and thanks again for uh, coming along.